Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today I'm going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems but before we get into that guys just a quick notice that I am now going to be doing Steam Workshop simulations as well as I want to expand like the amount of systems I'm doing so it won't just be an exclusive for my Discord server anymore Discord will still have the main priority but I do still um, want to do the workshop stuff now so if you want me to get around to doing some of your workshop simulations make sure to um, let me know what the name of it is down below you can either do one or two systems per video so if you want me to do two then just let me know the name of both of them and then i can um, get around to doing it in an episode at some point so yeah, if you want me to do your um work or workshop simulations now just um, let me know the name of them and i'll do the rest so um yeah that is that and yeah also guys a massive thank you for um coming back to this video and all of my videos and just watching them just a huge thanks to you all for that and everyone who's recently subscribed as well just amazing stuff and yeah i cannot thank you enough for that but yeah first of all let's get into um the first simulation of the day okay so the first one is called the binary brown dwarf um, real stars fake planets so let's go ahead and uh, go straight into it here so yeah as he's pretty much already stated um, and these are by Guru and Lagan as well by the way so yeah massive thanks to him for sending these in so yeah here we are so real stars but the planets are fake so we have got stars here about the size of Proxima Centauri here they're brown dwarfs or based on brown dwarfs after all so yeah very not very bright at all very dim as well so we have that one then we have the um, first of the planets here, which are not real. So there we go. And now moving on to the second object here, a very similar sized brown dwarf as well. Well, this one's almost black in color, actually. It's almost completely darked um, and darkened out there. And then it's got one more object in orbit of that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole simulation of all of these guys. So yeah, there we go. So we now we'll move on to the second simulation we have got today. So that was a very, very short one. It probably goes on record as one of the shortest um, I've done in these episodes. But now moving on, the next one is called the Core Heber System. So let's go ahead and search that up. So here we go. So it's got, wow, that's an insane amount of lines and um, trails it's got on there. So let's see what he has um, got for us here. So let's wait for it to open. All right, here we go. So here is the star itself. So it's a very, very... Um, darkened star as we can see it's 800 au in size so very very large but it's very very dim and dark so yeah there we go but now moving on to the first object here so this one is called boiling waterfall and already looking like a complete beauty oh my god the amount of lag i've just received from doing that zooming in so it looks like there must be a ton of stars in here for it to create this effect or we're just very very far away but there must be a ton of stars in here for it to cause that sort of effect. Let's go on the studio mode to see what it actually looks like. So that is very weird, but there must be a ton of stars to make it do that. So yeah, here we go. It's gone. Can we click on? Come on. Open the menu. Very, very laggy. Studio. Come on. I want to click studio. Wow, look at the, the lag is crazy. Let's try and zoom out from this. We need to recover. This is this is brutal. It may have uh, damaged my PC. <laughs> oh, no. So, come on. Click it. There you go, and, and it just fixes the lag immediately. That is just crazy how it does that. But yeah, lighting can really, really slow your computer down when you're trying to do stuff like that. It's very, very annoying. But here we go, and check out the beauty on this object here. So there's no atmosphere actually visible um, by the looks of it. I'm turning it on and off. It doesn't seem like there's anything here, but if we remove the clouds, you can actually see there is an atmosphere, but the atmosphere is just it's barely visible um, right there. But look at this object. It's a yellow, crazy cloud, fire god-like object. And it just looks great. Wow. That is looking very, very fine. I am a sucker for these sort of objects anyway. Really, really cool looking right there. But yeah, very, very nice object to start the system off. But yeah, there's definitely more than one star on here. We can see one over there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and zoom out. Move on to the next one now. So the next one is called Gateway. And it's a very, very shiny and reflective um, by the looks of it here. So yeah, here we go. I'm, I really, I'm not sure if I want to put it back on real or realistic, but we'll do it anyway. And there you go there. Actually, it's not so bad. Maybe the other object was just super laggy on realistic. But yeah, here it is here. So very unique in the way it's looking. But obviously, the, the, because the star is very, very low in temperature, it makes the starlight appear more yellow-reddish um, like. So it also make the object appear a lot different than it does in the picture up here. But yeah, either way, looking very, very nice um, with the way it's presented here. So yeah, there we go. There is that one. So we'll keep it like that. But that's what it should look like with normal starlight. But yeah, since we've got that very, very dark star... It alters the way it looks, but yeah, now zooming out, we've got a ton of moon objects by the look of it in here. You must have added those moon rings. So the next up, we've got this one called Anger here, and this is an all red, oh, very uh, monstrous looking one here. So an all red version of the planet we've just been to by the looks of it here. So yeah, very, very, very red, as we can see, ultra red tint. 
There's red clouds by the looks of it. So yeah, very, very menacing looking indeed there. And yeah, anger represents that word well, I'd say. So yeah, there we go. So zooming out of that one. Now it's also got a moon here called Furry here. And it, or Fury, sorry, not Furry. Um, so yeah, we've got this one here. And yeah, it is also a ultra red, um, furious looking um, color right there. So yeah, there we go. There are those guys. So yeah, we got that one. And it's, yeah, we got Ang yeah, Anger and Fury there. So all in that very, very crazy red right there. So there we go. So we did Gateway. And next up, we got Danger over here. So this one's also rolling with a red theme. But it, the atmosphere and clouds look a lot more visible on this one. So we've got a realistic again here. So yeah, there it is. Very, very laggy by doing this. We'll turn off the orbits just for a moment. But yeah, there you go. So yeah, very, very red looking Venus-like object right there. So yeah, there we go. Let's zoom out from that and move on. So, I'm assuming all of these moons with orange trails are the same. So, yeah, we won't, I don't think we need to click on those. But, yeah, first up, we've got this one first. So this is Giant Balloon right here. So, yeah, we'll definitely put this on uh, studio mode. But, yeah, here we go. So, it's going for red and blue color theme, as we can see right here. Very nice shade of blue mixed with a very nice shade of red right there. It's got some crazy radius, as we can see there. Very, very large. The density is pretty crazy on it as well. Uh, and then we have this object as well, so Desolation. This one is very um, barren looking by the looks of it. So it's been desolated, I guess. So yeah, there we go there. There is that one. So there we go, moving out from that one's orbit now. Right, so yeah, we're taking a big jump to the next object called Hyperactive. So this is another, yeah, there's, there, there's definitely loads of stars in here. That's why all the planets look weird. And this one's called Darkness. So it's very old by the looks of it as well. But here it is here. So a very, very dark object. As we can see, it's got a very dark grey atmosphere. And an all blacked out surface, as we can see right there. Again, putting it on realistic, it'll probably just make the game a lot more laggy. Yeah, these moon orbits probably don't help as well. But yeah, there we go. So very, very dark as we see there. So zooming out again. Yeah, whenever you get close to objects with loads of stars in the system, it really, really uh, messes around with it. So yeah, there we go. So they're in a binary there. Right now, moving on to the next one. This one is called Stationary over here. So this one's also going for red color scheme. So it seems like he likes his reds. So here we go, right here. So let's turn the orbits off again to get a decent look at it. So yeah, another all red object as we can see right there. Very, very small dwarf planet sort of size there. Right yo. So now heading out. Where are we heading next? So stationary. And now we have a ton of these star cloud objects. So yeah, the, all of these stars, these are the lag machines, I'm assuming. These are these are what give the game loads of lag. They've all got very, very interesting orbits around the center there. But yeah, all of these stars, all of them are having their own light effects on all of those planets. It really, really does lag the game out. So yeah, for anyone who's got a weak computer, probably not the best strategy to um, use if you're making a system. But it seems like his computer handled it since he built it. So yeah, pretty cool stuff right there. But yeah, really, really cool design. If we just turn it off... Um, let's actually try and head to, uh, where, where are they gone again? Let's, uh, head to one of these. So, there we go. I'm assuming they're very, very far apart as well. So, here's one. If I just put the background to, um, we'll go to all black. But they are, the stars, they're very, very far apart. As you can see, they're very dim. But if we, uh, just look around, we'll zoom out again. And head to, like, the centre. So, this is in the middle. You can see all of these uh, star clouds. They're all surrounding it, which does actually look quite cool. But they really get phased out by the background. I mean, when you add just stars, they are a lot less visible. But, yeah, pretty cool effect of all these stars around the uh, centre here. But you can see they're very far out. Because, yeah, once you get to a certain distance, they just fade out completely. So, yeah, they're very far apart, all of these guys. Maybe a bit of advice I'd have is maybe make them a little closer. But yeah, either way, really, really cool concept. I do like that. It's quite cool. So now heading out from that star cloud, we have an a uh, crazy amount of moons. And these are all stars. Are these all stars as well? My, wow, now that is that is an extreme amount of stars. They're called moons. But either way, these are still enormous. So yeah, massive lighting issues with all of these stars in here. But yeah, very interesting. I mean, some of them look like they're going to collide as well. But an absolutely insane amount of stars here. Would you class them as moons? I mean, they're all far apart. I mean, there are orbits in the center, but they're still stars, right? Would you? Would, I'm not really sure. Would you? I don't think I'd consider these moons, I have to say. Um, but, yeah, there they all are. That is an insane amount of moons. I mean, just from a distance. Look how cool that looks. Just It almost reminds me of like a black hole. Or like all the colors around a black hole there. With the white uh, bit in the middle and all the reds and oranges and yellows around it. Which That's quite cool, the way it looks. It's almost like um, a ball of wool or something, but... Yeah, crazy amount of stars. I mean, I don't think we need to click on all of these. I think they're all about the same. 
so yeah there we go there that that is that is ridiculously insane but now moving out to the last object we have a star named after myself so it's a blue star here looking very good it's a very very lonely all the way out here all by itself doesn't look like it's got any planets orbs in it so it's just chilling out here oh no there is a planet okay so let's see what he has got for me here so here's luke's planet it is a very nice neptune looking object well oh it's little buggy when you zoom in yeah when you put a lot of objects in the simulation you do get this sort of glitch i'm literally just using the scroll wheel on my mouse right now and it creates this bouncing effect which is very strange even when i'm just rotating with my mouse very weird effect so you'll uh, look at it in the menu here as well we're going um, flashlight but yeah quite a dark shade of blue but a very very nice shade of blue i have to say very very nice indeed obviously if we go to realistic it's just going to completely break it pretty much i mean actually no not so bad actually i'm guessing this one's far enough away to not get affected by those other stars but yeah there we go we'll zoom out from it just to stop it from bouncing around but yeah there we go very nice indeed very very nice shade of blue but yeah there we go now we'll put it into chart mode and just see the absolutely crazy amount of stars i mean look at this look at all of these this is absolutely nuts i mean look at the light on this it yeah this is with all of the stars on the same side as the gas giant but as soon as you start putting them all in different directions from the uh, gas giant it just creates chaos with the light and but as you can see even with them all on the same side of the uh, planet it look at how bright it's reflecting just because of all the amount of stars it's a quite a cool effect honestly um, but yeah, there we go, and yeah, an absolute ton of stars. Uh, I'm not sure if they're all needed, I have to say. They do seem a little over the top for me, but yeah, there we go. And then here is the rest of the planets as well. So just look at all these guys. It's all glitching just with the amount of objects in here. It is making the system very unstable. But as you can see, all of these guys are reflecting the light like crazy as well there. We've got Boiling Waterfall, which is the uh, beautiful looking yellow one here. But yeah, there we go. We can just see they are all looking ridiculously insane with... Um, the amount of stars in here but yeah let's just make it so we can actually run it a little easier but that is a beautiful looking yellow um clouded object there and then we got the rest of the red objects and then the little moon the moon of fury at the very end here so oh, oh, oh yeah very very glitchy as we can see with um having this many objects in here but if we get this grand total that is 233 now i wouldn't be surprised if 200 of these are stars because that's it's quite a lot in there but yeah there we go so very uh unique um, system I have to say very very unique with the way it is being um, structured I mean the amount of stars is crazy but my advice would be make them closer because obviously if we uh, disable all of the orbits again and then pull it back onto um, we'll go to yeah solid black you can barely see the stars so I think in ma making them bigger or making them closer would be the solution because you literally yeah you can only see the very closest of the star clouds but any of the objects further out all of those moon objects um, the moon ones you can't actually see them they're all just dimmed out in the blackness of space. Yeah, my advice would be maybe make them a little closer. But yeah, nonetheless, really, really cool concept. Um, I really, really liked it. And yeah, there we go, guys. So what do you think of this? Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this system. Because I think it is, it's is—it's not just focused on the planets. I think the orbits are a massive part of this. I mean, look how cool it looks as well. Just look at that. It looks really, really awesome. But yeah, there we go. Probably the most orbits we've had in one episode, actually. But yeah, that is a insane amount of objects there. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for today, guys. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this down below um, in the comments. Like I said as well at the start of the video, if you have any systems on the Steam Workshop you would like me to check out, just leave the names of them. Maximum of two. Um, just leave the names of them down below in the comments just saying you want me to do them. And yeah, well, let me do the rest and I can get around to doing them at some point. But yeah, there we go. So that is everything, guys. So uh, yeah, like I said, let's even go for about... 40 likes on today's video actually um and yeah subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to uh, 11,000 subscribers and a massive thank you for everyone who has watched this video today so yeah make sure you all have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next video goodbye